And if you have yet to um, apply for PUA, do it today. You're listening closely, the things I say mostly come from her side and point of view. When it's all said and done, she just wants to be heard. Hey guys, Christine here with Bocardo Mom Vlogs. So I have not went ghost, I have not forgotten about you guys, but there has really been nothing to update you on. Um, I have been able to file my weekly claim. I've been getting the, the payments on the Relia card by Wednesday, I would say, is the latest. So um, that's usually the time that it clears and then the money is available. I have yet to receive any backdate money, so I'm still owed that backdate money for the whole month of uh, April. So now I, I have seen in the comments that a lot of you have been saying that you have a zero balance. That has nothing to do with the Relia card. That has to do with the Department of Labor because the Department of Labor, that's why you have to send all your information to them because they review you know what you click on if you're doing it online or you're calling in which I doubt you're able to do because a lot of people have said that they cannot get through to them so what happens is they review they review all the information that you give them okay in my case it was fairly easy because I already had um, an employer on file so when I went to set up my um, information and stuff because you know you're tracked with your social security number that's how they take your taxes out okay the EIN um, number when I went to file my employer was already there so there wasn't much that I had to state except for when I was supposed to start why I couldn't start was which was due to the pandemic and um, that really was it so when I first filed, which was the ending of March, okay, because I was supposed to start working March 17th, that didn't happen uh, because of the pandemic, they shut everything down, they are still closed, so I'm still not working, so I'm receiving uh, weekly benefits, so I haven't had really an issue except for once I filed, I mean once I clicked that back day button, that was a, really the only issue that I've had um, so far. And so when that happened, I wasn't able to file, and a lot of people weren't able to file because we clicked the backdate button, which is not missing weeks. The backdate button, or even to ask them for backdate, is basically if you were owed from, you know, months prior, okay? So, like, let's say that uh, you weren't owed and you just stopped working maybe in April or whatever, and you wind up getting your money and maybe you were owed like three weeks or something like that. That wouldn't be considered back date. That's just that they owed you that money because of whatever issue happened. So, but the back date is you filed, but they haven't given you the money when you filed. So in my case, since I filed the ending of March, got denied, and then I winded up, um, once I got denied, then I was able, I think a couple of weeks later, to file for the PUA, and so, that's what I did, and then I hit that pre uh, that back day button, and then I was not able to file a claim anymore, and then they owed me for about a month. And so once they did that social security number thing, some of you, if you didn't go through this because you're just now filing or you just started filing like the ending of June, um, I believe they had already resolved that issue. So you don't really have to worry about that. Now, as far as getting and receiving the Relier card, I have no idea how long that is going to take because like I said, in my case, I pretty much filed right away. So, and I know, you know, some people had filed, they didn't see their, you know, they haven't reviewed their account or whatever. So I would just say, you know, just wait. They already stated that even though you haven't received your money, you will be made whole. So if you're missing months and you filed months ago, and you haven't received the payment, they will give you your money is what they stated, okay? So also, you know, you can follow them. They have been doing these town hall meetings, these uh, virtual town hall meetings on Thursday. If you have a zero balance um, and you wind up calling the Relia card saying, where's my money? They have nothing to do with that. They are only issuing you your card. The treasury is, you know, issues a card, puts the money on those cards. So 
any issues that you have, you have to be call contacting the Department of Labor because they are the one that submit the information and tell them how much money to pay you, okay? So, and also, some people have, you know, sent them information and proof as to they should be receiving more money, okay, which is more than the $195 that the majority, I would say the majority of us are receiving, okay, myself included. The Reliant card, I have posted that on the comments. I actually, I, I believe on one of my videos, I also, also put the number there, but I will tell you it again. So to call the Reliant card, the number is 1-855-262-6161. So that's for uh, the Reliant card. Also for the Department of Labor, that is the only number that they have. So I know some people have been asking, what is a good number because I can't get through? You can't get through because of, here's the thing. The ratio, okay, to representative to unemployed, millions unemployed, it's, it just doesn't even out at all, okay? So they have hired more people is what they stated and they continue to hire more people because they realize that a lot of people have not received any you know benef benefits yet but so you have to kind of I mean when I wasn't getting the money I was really frustrated and annoyed but I can still sympathize with them I can't even imagine how many they said that they had to work overtime a lot of them are working overtime just to try to get us you know the money that pretty much I think is everybody's issue if you're trying to get back date money because you were owed money from March or April, then you have to send them an email. So what you do is you go to your desk, the, your dashboard on the left side, I um, believe it's communication, you click on that and they give you, you know, email and then you just click on that link to email um, and you just email them and then you ask, you know, I have yet to even gotten a response from them and I've sent them several emails about the backdate money so I had sent them an email prior to that backdate button even becoming uh, an option that's how long ago I winded up um, asking for the backdate money then when that button became available I clicked it that messed a lot of people up because once we clicked that we were no longer able to file they had to start this new system with the social security number and just to get us to be able to file again and back on track um, for people have, who have filed recently, I really can't tell you how long you're going to be waiting because I pretty much filed right away. So I imagine your cards will be coming soon, you know, and also they stated that even though you guys are waiting and it is very frustrating and not only that, you know, you have bills to pay, you have your kids to feed, you, you need the money, but they have stated that you will be made whole. So anybody that's owed money, if you're owed backdate money, once they review it and everything, they will give you your money. It's just a matter of time. When? When, when are you going to get the money? Um, so that's really all that I have for you. If you have yet to file for PUA, I would suggest that you do it today. Today will be the last day that you would actually be able to file for that $600 because come tomorrow when it's time to file i'm pretty sure you're not going to be able you know that's it tomorrow's the last day tomorrow's sunday we file for the following week and that's it um july 31st it is going to be done there will be no more 600 dollars now the senate they have stated that they are um gonna figure out some things they're gonna put in another bill so i don't know if they are going to consider extending the $600 or if it's going to be less or whatever but they are going over all that and they are hopefully going to look out for us you know but until then you will still be able to get that regular PUA money which in my case is $195 um, I don't know how many people are going to be able to uh, get more if they are entitled but you do have to submit proof and paperwork also let me just say real quick I almost forgot but I still have unresolved issues on my case so like I stated before in a previous video 
I'm pretty sure the reason why it's unresolved issues is because of the back date. They are probably reviewing it or whatever. I don't know how long this is going to take, but I'm still able to get the money. So I guess it's not that big of an issue, right? Because if it was a big issue, I wouldn't be getting any money. So I'm pretty sure that that's the reason why I still have unresolved issue. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope that it was helpful for you. Um, make sure that you like, subscribe, turn on notifications so that you know every time I post a video, I will be posting a video on when I get my back date money. I'm not going to leave you guys hanging. Uh, continue to comment down below if I don't know and I don't have the information. You know, there's been many people that have been going back and forth. They've experienced some of the things. You know, I can't tell you about things that I haven't experienced myself, but others have, and they've been really awesome with getting back to people and trying to help them out, tell them what they need to do, and this, that, and the other. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for me. Make sure that you be safe. Um, I don't, I'm not going to tell you to social distance because I really don't believe in that whole thing anyway, but that's for another video. I don't even know if I would get into that. But, alright guys, bye!